Hi guys, I'm Jamal Stone. I'm Chantal Aids. We are on our way to Comic Con 2014, our very own custom made, donated by Chevy, Uber car with the Sonic the Hedgehog theme. Also, we have our superhero stuff, Batman shirts on. Chantal, are you excited? I'm uber excited! There's cosplayers, celebrities. Oh my god, Madame Tussauds, they have a little surprise. I can't wait to see it. Marvel's got some announcements. We're gonna see a whole bunch of panels. I'm excited. I can't wait. You ready to go with that? I think this is going to be uber awesome. Let's go. Let's go. You know, yeah, Breck and I were actually just talking about this, about how we haven't touched on, like, Ben 10. It's like, you know, it's trying to find, like, some of the, the newer stuff that we, we got to, you know, goof around with. Um, yeah, what do we do? You know, what I, I think with the Star Wars stuff, we've never played with the Star Wars Kenner toys. Yes, we have. That's what okay. episode? <laughs> <laughs> the three three-quarter ones. The old school three yeah. three-quarter? Oh, man. I think All that'd right. be a lot of fun. Okay. All right, that's fair. That's that our challenge, happen. season eight. Okay. Have any of your artists rebelled, just basically said, no, I cannot show Beastman, you know, sexually assaulting Tila or anything like that. That was my childhood. That I like crazy. that that's where you go to, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there must be an episode <laughs> Yeah, I, every once in a while there's an animator that might be a little sensitive towards something, but for the most part everyone rolls with it. But yeah. we're every all, once in a while. We're all twisted in some way. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. It's a job, you know, you clock in, move the puppet, clock out. <laughs> so there's no button you won't push? Like. Um, we're good at self-monitoring ourselves, but we're also TVMA, so it's that careful balance right. between the two. You know, I, I, yeah, there's definitely limits for ourselves, but it's when you sit in a room with all your friends and you're laughing about things, you're like, too, you know those moments where you're like, oh, that's too far. <laughs> Everybody has those. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of the 80s, what was your favorite TV show growing up? Growing up, TV yeah, show. Just one show, Matt. TV <laughs> show. Um, I'd probably say Transformers. Although That's I was good. gonna say I was gonna say GI Joe, but it goes back and forth. But I was I was more. I mean, I'm a huge Star Wars fanatic, but that's not TV. But that's TV. that's my 80s. I would say mine was Ducktales. I was really into Ducktales. So. Ooh. Ducktales, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> um, when you guys are coming up with new skits, how many people? How many yes votes? Yeah. So uh, we have a writer's room. There are four people who started the show. It's myself, Seth, uh, our two head writers, Tom and Doug. Um, we all get votes. And then we have four other writers that are in the room with us who do not get votes. And they hate us. And it needs to be a three to one for it to go into the show. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a grueling process. And uh, yeah, a lot of writers hate us. How, how, what's like the rejection rate? Uh, oh, I would say 90 to 95%. Oh. Yeah, it's it's pretty awful. That room is not a fun place to be in. People are always like, this would be the greatest thing ever. I didn't do it. What? I said I said 90% of your stuff is awesome. Rewind the tape. You can go back and look. 90%. I said 90. <laughs> Everything Brecken does now. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get ugly. Every intricate detail that it takes to bring this to life. What kind of a skill set does one need coming into this to really? It depends which department yeah, they're working I mean, there's in. There's so many different yeah. departments. Um, you know, animators. Information about like no I'll let you. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, with um, for myself specifically, like for a lot of stop motion artists. You know, they're not only um, filmmakers, but they're also artists. They can make puppets, they can make sets, they can light their stuff, they can move it around. So a lot of the artists we have in the studio can actually, they're kind of a one-man band that have joined a big team. So it's kind of, if you think of it like that, does that make sense? One-man yeah. band that can join a big team. So they all have skills to do. They can make a stop-motion film, but they, they step back and they, they work on either animating or making a puppet or lighting or something like that. Yeah, it's a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. I use our Star Wars uh, special as an example. Uh, so we started from writing to completion. It was about 16 weeks. Um, and then, but for our, an episode, we shoot multiple episodes at the same time. We, it's about 14 months to do a season of 20 episodes. 14 months out of the year. Out of the year, that's right. That's why, that's why we're in year 10 and only season seven. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Takes a while. 
all the guests that you guys have had, is there one particular guest that you guys are looking forward to like snacking? First that like to get or yes, that was our get. favorite. Yeah. Okay, um, to get I always want Harrison Ford. We've gone out to him every season. He's always very busy. Um, I will continue to go out to him and uh, we'll see what happens. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. I mean, we got to get him this season, right? <laughs> this is getting sad. So do you guys have a favorite guest that you guys? I've always had. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of those types of moments where you're like, this is the greatest experience of my life when interacting. Um, for me, it was uh, Burt Reynolds and Dom DeLuise came in together, and I'm just a huge Cannonball Run fan, and watching the two of them interact exactly how they were on screen and how you can see their your, their long friendship just come to life in front of you, it was, it was uh, just unbelievable for me. Yeah, I, I, I was trying not to geek out too much. That's good. Yeah. The best thing I can say is everybody has these wonderful devices on them that can actually make movies now and make stuff, post stuff, yeah, I think it's do just it. Great like things. if we had that when we were kids, I mean, we had VHS recorders if we were lucky and <laughs> trying to edit something on VHS tapes was impossible. Now you could do it on your phone. Like make stuff and get it out there. And, and if yeah, it's that's there. the thing too is when we were kids, obviously we couldn't show people things. It's like, you can't get it out there. So now you make something, put it on YouTube and then just keep making it's stuff. Instant. Keep sending it out there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no one has an excuse now. Yeah. No excuses. Yep. I asked Brecken this, but uh -oh. I'm just wondering, how did you guys get away with putting Fox News in the title? He said he did not know. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good question. Legal? Um, I think because the episode title is that long that when you look at it on the DVR, that part will maybe get cut off. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe no one will know. Okay. So are you You're the only one that's caught it so far? That's that it might be pro or negative, you just don't know. Alright. Yeah. No press. <laughs> no judge. Yeah, exactly. No judging. Are, are we gonna see more robot chicken tellers? Um Possibly. We actually just uh, we just started working with a company called Branberry for our licensing, um, and uh, they're going to be there'll be a lot of things that are going to be happening probably within the next year. So uh, yeah, we're really excited about that. But yeah, if you look up Branberry, you'll see a lot of the stuff that they've done and are, are going to be doing. I really like my uh, robot and washing machine. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Do you the wind up one? Yes, that's it's a, a good that one. is a fun one. I uh, I, I really enjoy. <laughs> I think she wants to ask a question, but she's afraid to ask herself. <laughs> <laughs> ask, I ask. I couldn't hear her. No, just ask. Okay, you ask. I was going to say, are there any shows that you're going to be hooking up with here at Comic-Con and uh, working with them? Any actors here? Any actors, like, uh, hooking up with, um, you know, uh, <clears throat> maybe? I guess like, again, this is like, this is that moment where you see all these people and you're like, hey, it's good to see you. Oh, you want to do the show? That's awesome. Like we were actually just talking, we we're like, oh my God, we never had Kevin Smith on the show. I was like, how, how have we not done that? Like, I don't understand. We see him at every one of these things. Um, <laughs> we're like, we should, we should bring him in. Um, but yeah, you just never know. Like we ran into Sarah Chalk and like, I was like, how are you doing? And she did the show and I'm like, we got to bring you back. You should have asked George Clooney. I should have asked George Clooney. Yesterday. We we saw George Clooney yesterday. He we shook froze. our hands. <laughs> <laughs> but pleased to meet you. He gave he gave Seth one of those bro hugs. I'm like, you are so cool. You should be president. <laughs> um, it was one of those things. George, uh, no, not Seth. <laughs> Seth should not be president. What? Yeah. He'd be great. <laughs> Like 2D? Yeah, 2D or a 2D, 3D cartoon. Like, like just not do claymation, but just sure. Oh yeah, I mean we 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 just did a pilot uh, for Adult Swim called Team Unicorn, uh, which is 2D. Um, we have a CG thing that's in pilot phase in uh, at another place. We have a lot of pilots that are in different different types of animation. Uh, we don't we don't categorize ourselves by the type of animation we do. It's more the sense of humor that we do. Have you brought in any guest actors that didn't know what they were getting themselves into? Yes. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Breck and Meyer. <laughs> um, no, we've, we've brought in a bunch of people. Um, yeah, I don't think anybody knows what they're getting into when they, when they do it. But it's, uh, it's been a good roster of people. And again, I'm still amazed that they always want to come back. So, yeah. Did not like? I will say... One. Okay. 
and then you can look at the list. Right. <laughs> oh, you heard it here first. And it's, uh, his name is Seth Green. <laughs>